Join us. It is day one. I am here with Jazz. She is a nine-month-old Bernese Mountain Dog. She is incredibly strong and she is here for manners training. I met Jazz while training Enzo at a big box store. Puppies, especially big puppies like Jazz, can be very hard to control, especially as they get older. Bernese mountain dogs can weigh upwards of 120 pounds. They can also certainly, because of their size and strength, while leash walking can cause pain in your shoulder and arm. Large puppies can also pull the leash out of your hand easily and run away. Teaching puppies emotional self-control or impulse control through using communication tools can help puppy focus and remain on task at distance for duration and around distractions. One of the most important things I do is bonding with dogs when I first get them. They are so much fun. This is a great time for us to, uh, to bond. I'm also using this place object, this board, to get her used to it. This will become important in the coming days for the place command. These are her <laughs> toys from home. <laughs> and she certainly is enjoying them. Good girl. <laughs> And I've got some food in my pocket. I use uh, food as an exchange for the toy. And let's go ahead and do that. And you can see, like most puppies, it's tug of war time. Yes. We just exchanged that out. <laughs> Good girl, Jazz. And here we go with her evaluation walk. Notice how she doesn't know that I'm existing here at the other end of the leash. She's not aware that I'm getting ready to turn. Her nose is taking her wherever she wants to go. She's in charge of the walk. She's quite a big girl. <laughs> okay, notice that she's extended all the way out using all six foot real estate on this leash. Training has begun and here we go with the follow command. With the follow command, the dog can follow in front, behind, or to either side of me. What I'm looking for is no tension on the leash and also the dog visually checks in with me and turns when I turn. And here we go. Note that Jazz is not ready to turn when I turn. Note also how the leash is fully extended and there is a lot of tension on the leash. Jazz is not aware that I exist at the other end of the leash. Okay, free, free, good girl, good girl, Jazz, good job. Good I've girl. moved the last training session for follow out to the yard. Dogs do not generalize training from one environment to another. Working as many different environments inside and outside helps a puppy generalize their commands. As a trainer, I'm aware of many different variables that impact training for each individual dog that comes into my program. Puppies receive short, frequent training sessions, whereas adult dogs can do long sessions up to an hour. The weather is also very important. Is the dog single-coated or double-coated? What characteristics does this breed inherit and type of socialization that has been layered on the puppy? Bernese mountain dogs are low to moderate energy. 
Jazz is probably on the low side of the energy equation. As a trainer, I have to work hard to create energy. That's why you see me jumping around for the puppy to sort of feed off of it to lengthen out the training session. I also jump around as I use my body as a distraction, sort of mimicking the random movements of children. This becomes important when we move outside the home to public places the second week of training. With puppies, it is important to note if they are in a fear period. Puppies have fear periods during their development. Jazz is nine months old and is in a fear period. Fear periods are when a puppy is more concerned about new objects or experiences and even things that they previously might have enjoyed can become worrisome. I'm aware of this and have adjusted Jazz's training program. Good girl, Jazz. Good job. Good girl. What a good girl. You're free, free, free. <laughs> good job, Jazz. Good job. Good girl. Okay, free. <laughs> I think the new thing for her is me uh, having her uh, on a leash the whole time. There are training methods. Uh, there's one called uh, the tethering method where the dog is uh, tethered to you. So it's just another training uh, methodology. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> Brief. <laughs> this is great. So she gets um, used to the leash wrapping around her feet and around her body. Dogs graduate from a six foot leash to a 10 or 15 foot leash and then off leash on their e collars. So uh, all of this training is great. It crosses many of the boundaries uh, that I'm looking for. <laughs> Good girl. Yes. I'm going to give her a food exchange. Okay, free. Good girl. Good job. <laughs>